So on the boat that night, I'm calling it a boat, 65 foot. They call it a yacht, but you know, I have a garden hose that's 50 feet in my backyard. Anyways, 65 feet is not very big. And the other occupant on the boat was actor Christopher Walken, who was starring with Natalie in Brainstorm. I've located this one little interview, so rare, he's never talked about it in any other interview that I've seen. And we're gonna play this little clip of Christopher Walken being uh, interviewed by a reporter, I guess, as he's getting made up for some other project. And he talks a little bit about Natalie. And I want you to tell me if you sense any form of deception. Is this guy really telling the truth? Now, as I said, I like Christopher Walken. I mean, he's a great actor and all this kind of thing, but uh, when I hear him talk about this case on this one little clip, he didn't sound very affected. He sounded quite detached from the event, and there's several different things, body language-wise, and the things he says and how he says them, that make me very suspicious. Okay, so I've set it up for you. I know that was a long setup, but here we go. Let's run this tape, and we're going to be looking for several signs of deception. Here we go. I'm going to stop it along the way, and of course, YouTube and Google, this is under the fair use category, where I'm able to play short clips of this material and comment on it, for educational and reviewing purposes so that's what this is so you know leave me alone over there uh, this is perfectly legit everybody else is doing this and I'm just one of them okay YouTube and Google don't squelch me don't uh, don't demonetize this video how do you feel that brainstorm is going to be released I don't know. I hear it's going to be released. Okay, let's listen to that one. She asks him, how do you feel that the movie Brainstorm is going to be released? And he says, I don't know. I heard it's going to be released. She's not asking, like, is it going to be released in theaters? Or how is it going to be released? She says, how do you feel about it? being released. And so these very clever people who are not telling the truth will avoid the question. And certainly he did right there. He says, I don't know. I heard it's going to be released. Now, another very smart thing that these people do to deceive people is they, they will say and repeat stuff back to you that you just said to them. And that perplexes the, 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 the person questioning or interrogating the person because it's like, I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. But so it's deflection, complete deflection on his part. Let's hear what he says next. She's asking how he feels. You know, she's, she's probably zeroing in on asking him, how does it feel to lose your co-star? And he's talking about this. I have some, uh, a little bit of looping to do, as a matter of fact, this weekend on it. I haven't seen it. I never hear anything about it. The untimely death of Natalie Wood during the filming of Brainstorm, did that make that entire experience painful for you? Oh, sure. I mean, it was, uh, you know, on, on, on so many, in so many ways, it was a terrible thing. Did it happen? Okay, let's go back, because that was very, uh, there was a lot in there. Let's go back to that. So, okay, another thing is that people who are trying to deceive you will not look directly in your eyes. They'll look all over the diff different places of the room, 
trying to come up with different uh, answers, trying to predict what the, the, the uh, Inquisitor is going to ask next. And so this guy is playing mental chess right here with this, uh, with this lady interviewer right here. And she's trying to get information out of him. And he's just not going to be that cooperative. Let's watch that again. And let's go check out all those different tells. Okay. There's a makeup lady that comes into the frame. Uh, I don't know why the makeup lady would be coming into the frame if they're doing an interview. To me, this looks like a way to um, divert our attention away from the question to Christopher Walken. Natalie Wood, during the filming of Brainstorm, did that make that entire experience painful for you? Oh, sure. Oh, sure. He uses his hands. On, on, on so many, in so many ways, it was a terrible thing. It did was a having terrible. a co-worker and a friend die change your attitude about living, Christopher? Look. Oh, my gosh. So, I want you to watch. They'll take pauses because they're basically thinking of the next thing that they're going to say. And look at that tell right there. I mean, you don't have to be a CIA FBI expert to tell you that <coughs> excuse me that he's got something to hide. Let's keep going. Stall. Well, I suppose uh, you know, confrontation so that was pretty telling right there when he took a long pause and grimaced and put his finger up to his mouth and kind of made a funny face. That's a definite tell. If uh, he was being interviewed by the police, FBI, detectives, CIA, they would know this guy's not saying. shooting a brainstorm. How do you think that was dealt with? They handled it, uh, you know, in the only way they could. It was a shocking thing. And, uh, and, uh, I think everything that happened that, you know, was going to happen. Do you think that the real story of Natalie Wood's death has actually come out? The real story of her uh, death is that she... Uh, drowned and uh, nobody knows uh, how she drowned uh, what happened except uh, her that's what it is there is no real story you know, there is nobody ought to know Okay, now that I told you all the things to look for, let's play it all the way through again. And maybe I just won't even say something during this time so you can see it for yourselves. How do you feel that Brainstorm is going to be released? Gulp? I don't know. I hear it's going to be released. I have some, uh, a little bit of looping to do, as a matter of fact, this weekend. Um, I haven't seen it. I never hear anything about it. Uh Wait, I'm sorry. I got to stop it there. I haven't seen it, and I haven't heard anything about it. So, he's trying to direct the interviewer away from this line of questioning. I haven't seen it. I don't know. I heard it's, it's going to be released. I don't know. He's playing real stupid right here. I don't know, but I have some looping to do this weekend. That's not what she's asking about. She doesn't care if he's doing some, you know, pickup looping. That's not what we're asking about. We're trying to get to the, the bottom of this story. And, of course, this, this, uh, this interviewer is not going to ask him point blank. You know, we think you know who did it. <laughs> the untimely death of Natalie Wood during the filming. Now, of course, I don't really think that Christopher Walken had anything to do with Natalie's death, but I do know that he knows what happened. 
And I do know that he knows what was happening leading up to this argument that supposedly R.J., Robert Wagner, and his wife, Natalie Wood, had on the ship. And that he went to his room and went to sleep, which is almost impossible, guys. These boats have paper-thin walls. They're in absolutely silent water. And the isthmus on the other side of the island, not in, Catal not in Avalon, so there's no activity, there's no noise on the water, it's just dead silence. And if you heard somebody yelling, screaming, doing whatever, yelling for help, you would definitely hear them out there. 